Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have Amelia slash Katarina because it's voiced by the same VA. Alright, um, so this is a new character in the new, uh, current uh, new fest. So I have no idea who the hell is she. And I don't think I really care about the lore either. Alright, so we have Amelia. She's Earth. Uh, she's balanced, a balanced character. Human sword character. She has 1800 HP. 7000 attack. Uh, noble Silver, massive earth damage to refer boost to all allies Earth attack and multi-attack rate Sure F Fervid Swing, 5 hit earth damage to random foes Revitalize effect to earth allies, remove 1 debuff Additional effect, hit number doubles armor effect Oh This character doesn't sound bad already Valiant Will Boost to Earth Allies Crit Rate Keen Effect Additional Effect is Water Damage Cut Wow, 60% Holy shit Swift uh, Chivalry 1 turn cut to an Earth Ally Skill cooldowns Attack twice each turn Additional Effect Doom Triple Attacks Oh wow, not bad Not bad at all Captain of the Alalala Knights Take a little hit without being knocked out one time Leave 1 HP, skills gain additional effects when Amelia has 12 or more buffs. Oh, she's that type of character. Silver st Steep Steep in a Virtue. A one turn cut to Amelia's skill cooldowns when a foe uses a special attack. Activate the first skill. Oh, she can be a OTK character too, hey. Oh, wow. Ooh. Not bad. And she's a suckable character? Yes, she is. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Um Earth attack Earth attack is fifteen percent for four turns. Double attack is oh double and triple attack up. 15% for turns. Sure, okay. Then, um, the first skill, the most important one, is 93,000 attack damage thing, base cap for f 5 hits. So 93,000 times 5. Pretty good. And then, uh, revitalize is 500 HP cap. And then you get 10%, blah, blah, blah. Um,. And then you get fucking clear. Damn. You actually get clear as well. And it's every 7 turns and you can get it at... Uh, you can automatically cast this whenever the boss does the uh, special attack as well. Very nice. So the additional effects only applies if she has a lot of buffs. Okay. And then... Uh, Doubles the hit, so that means she gets 10 hits. Wow. And then, uh, damage reduction is... Oh, her armor is 100% chance for 20% damage reduction. Okay. Wow, that makes it just... Ooh, this is a pretty solid character, damn. Very good subtickable character already, just by looking at it. Cool. Okay, uh, this one, Valiant Will is, uh... 70% chance for 30% extra damage crit. Keen effect is 50,000 damage. And then, yeah, 60% cut. Damn! Not bad at all. This one is uh, self explanatory, okay. And then uh, the rest is self explanatory too. Alright, what's this? I did not get hurt, though, if anyone's wondering. Huh? <laughs> okay, that looks shit. <laughs> Alright, that actually looks pretty ass. Um, So from the get-go, it looks like she's a really, really good full auto character slash OTK character. Very, very nice. Because it looks like you can actually get very easily this. Because Freya alone should be more than enough to give her this already. And if you really... I mean, then again, you have Octo, right? So if you have Octo, yeah. 
just Freya key and just put Octo there, yeah, you're pretty much set already regardless. So in other words, she can also technically get 10 hits for OTK. Because, uh, you know, it activates that, right? Whenever uh, he uses a special attack, isn't it? <laughs> so that's actually really fucking nice. So the, basically, like, what you actually need to do for the OTK if you want to make her to work, for anyone's wondering. This one is very similar to the likes of, like, say, Vite as well. You know, those kind of characters where they're reliant on the special attack. So in other words, the before their turn, right, you want them to... You want the boss to be below 50% HP or something. Then their shit will automatically activate. So it's very, very handy. Yeah, very, very fucking handy. So her OTK proudness is actually really fucking good. Because it's... Dude, it's 10 fucking hits, man. And then you have like Ben, ben Bow and shit. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably be using Ben Bow. Really, really good, man. I mean... The, the the whole full auto, the full auto stuff is like yeah it's to be given right but shit technically only you'll you'll be you'll be able to use her first and second skill which is in a way is also kind of like better too just because you're essentially pressing much lesser buttons right because this has to be manual cast right because it says to an earth ally in other words only one other character and you have to manually pick in other words this will not be pressed at all in full auto so in other words like these two skills is already relatively strong you're getting a clear you're getting like a 50 percent uh a 50 percent 500 hp revitalize a uh, thing so it's gonna be very very nice already and then it hits really fucking hard <laughs> Yeah, and then she's a, re a relatively nice utility character as well because not only she can clear and gives you some uh, heal, she's giving you extra consistent uh, extra attack and uh, multi-attack as well. So it's very, very, very nice. Really, really works for like, especially like even the newer players. So for, say for example, most, I see, it seems most likely that you're, you might actually want her if you're having problems with OTK in the in the much later months, <laughs> whenever her favorite Gear War comes back again, you know, so it's uh, yeah, it's really nice, very nice. Um, let me check her EMP. She has three crits, uh, two triple attacks, two double attacks, two HP, two defense, and oh, actually, this is pretty normal, huh? Her EMP is very, very like. Whatever, actually. I, dude, I, I, dude, I like the fucking... <laughs> I like the Google Translate, man. Chest rate, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, increase her chest rate, man. Yes. I would like... To, I would like to increase her chest. <laughs> I... I totally want that, man. Jokes aside, dude. The jokes aside, it's very likely that you only just want the crit anyway. The triple attack, sure, if you want consistent damage. But usually for my case, I would prefer to either slot in like... Uh, if I'm just focusing... Say, for example, I'm only going to use her in like OTK. So I just want to give her like just bare like consistent damage kind of thing. I would definitely just feed everything into uh, the attack, right? So I'll just put this... Can I actually write shit on this? I think I can, right? <sighs> Can I undo? No, I can't. <laughs> There's no undo button. Alright, I'll just do that. I'll do this as well. And then obviously this and this and this, right? So this is like the main five that I would definitely go if I'm just focusing on OTK. If you're if you're really planning to use her for like full auto, maybe you just ignore this too. Like you won't take you don't get the two attack. Maybe put her put her to have extra defense, or if you're lacking a HP, I think that's fine as well. That's entirely up to you. You could actually, however, also go to triple attack, but that's really entirely up to you because a lot of times, usually when you're like relatively uh, built up in terms of grid size or like your 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 strength of the guild or your grid, I almost say guild for some reason, uh, the strength of your grid, right? And then if like uh, you have some characters to go with. Technically, you don't really need that multi-attack, or I mean the triple attack, too much. So, essentially, you can kind of ignore it. So, that's why a lot of times when it comes to like all these kind of characters, these days, I prefer to actually just go for like defense or like HP when it comes to like the, the just focused 
on just full auto stuff. It's really just highly dependent on them. And it's just because also like, well, it lets the character survive a lot longer, right? You always want to have your character to survive as long as possible. And at the same time, doing relatively good damage as well, right? So it just really depends on what kind of setup you have or what kind of like your, your, your progress that you're at, right? So end of the day, it really just depends on you. This is my suggestion. You can actually just take a however, however you will. You can actually just ignore all that and just go for triple attack if you want to. That's fine too. It's up to you. <laughs> but uh, this is this is my suggestion, and uh, I leave the rest of uh, the the points to your decision. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's get rid get rid of this. All right. And uh, I don't think there's really much else for me to really f emphasize on this character, just because that uh, she's really just I feel like even though she has a very cool uh, double strike kind of shit for one specific character but you have to remember one thing right she's in earth okay this is earth this is not light earth can't really do that just yet so um, you know if you want to do that that thing <laughs> That stupid thing that light tends to do. Yeah, I don't think you can really do that yet. So... <laughs> cool, but at the same time, it's like... The so-called burst capability for Earth, I don't think it's really going to change just yet. You might be able to fit her in, in terms of like some sort of burst or whatever, but... She doesn't really give any form of like extra overcap besides literal double strike there's no echo there's no supplemental damage other than this thing obviously but like the uh like if the if you're not using a uh what's that because it's not 100 crit isn't it i remember her her numbers is like 70 percent crit right yeah so this is not a hundred percent crit right so if your setup doesn't have crit right technically the supplemental doesn't really entirely work for you <laughs> so it doesn't really work that well. So she doesn't have like very, very good form of overcap to your party. So I wouldn't really say that she's really good for like bursting. Like and once again, like I said, you can, but it's not as efficient that what Earth already has previously. Okay. But in other words, in other in other departments, she just blows out of water. I feel like she's she's gonna be really, really good for full auto. She can be really, really strong in uh, OTK as well. But bear in mind, I would say that OTK is kind of... Uh, how do I say? Like... Uh, limited in some way because not a lot of people can actually do that just because, you know, you have to technically kill Baelil <laughs> to really, you know, get that to work. <laughs> if not, then... Yeah, her, her double, her, her 10 hit instead of high 5 hit doesn't really work for you. <laughs> so you kind of need to at least get there first before to really, yeah. So that's kind of like the other problem. But yeah, other than that, she is still good. Even if you say if it's just 5 hit, I would still say she's still relatively nice for OTK as well. It's just that instead of not being able to hit that hard, she's uh, still able to hit relatively okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to... Uh, say about this uh, said new character subtickable character she's uh, pretty cute lots of uh, flexing on that on damn legs all right all right till next time whenever i decide to uh, see you guys which is most likely in gbs fest so uh, yeah i'll see you guys lmao <laughs> okay